thanks a lot. Yeah, I am uh, an international comedian. <laughs> I've, uh, I think Route 1 in Saugus, I remember that was, uh, <laughs> and then of course I've been on the road, I was in Everett and Malden, and so <laughs> but uh, I wonder if you could turn that off for a second because I can't see anything. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but I am from Charleston, so all my friends are dead. It's nice to be here with people from the People's Republic of Cambridge. Uh, joke, I'm just kidding, all right? I see a lot of Irish faces here. I'm half Irish, half Italian, so I know the drink to grab my crutch. <laughs> My mother was, uh, my mother was born over there, actually, in Cork, and I was over there last summer. And uh, I'm telling you, after two beers, you can't understand a word they're saying. There's so much of this, there's so much of this, and I'm not going to take it away, I'm not going to take it away, I'm not going to take it away. But I did, I was there, and I threw my set book guy, let me have a coffee to go. He says, well, where the hell are you going? So, <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm from uh, here, but I've been traveling around the country. I was in Miami. It's great to be back in the United States, you know? <laughs> never appreciate your own country until you go to a foreign country like Miami. That <laughs> was in Atlantic City. People gamble there like it ain't money. You gotta give me 50 bucks worth of chips. Give me a hundred, give me a thousand. Come on, I got the feeling. Then they get out of the gift shop. Four bucks for toothpaste? You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Do I have sucker in my forehead? You can walk nine blocks and get it for a buck and a half. I love the way they glorify gambling. You see the ad for Foxwoods? The wonder of the Connecticut woods. You go to Foxwoods, the only time you're going in those woods is to blow your brains out if you lost every time. <laughs> I'm working in Las Vegas with all these tourists. Is there a law in Japan that people have to walk in groups of 200? <laughs> just wondering. So, it's like 115 degrees out there, right? I said to this guy, Jesus, this is heat. He says, yup, but there's no humidity. <laughs> yeah. You're right. He's, I'm not even hot. I thought I was hot. Now that I know there's no humidity. Jeez, I need an overcoat. You want to put my head in the oven? No humidity should be a problem, right? But you know, I've been here my whole life, and you forget how people are. Like, you go to other parts of the country, you say to people, how you doing? They say, great, good, thanks for asking. Then you come back to Boston, there's some, how you doing? How do you care how I'm doing? Mind <laughs> your own business, I don't know you. Who the hell are you to ask me how I'm doing? Friendly, positive people. If you say to someone, I'm lost, good. <laughs> ask the cop, does we pay to the direct boss? <laughs> then you ask the Boston cop for directions. Doesn't matter where you're going, it's the same direction. Right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Framingham. Right ahead. I want to meet him. Right ahead. I want to New Zealand. What are you, whack your ears? Right ahead. <laughs> Positive people we are, you know? Like you say to someone, gee, it's a nice day. Yeah. We won't get many more of these. <laughs> like you say to someone, gee, it's a nice day. Yeah, well, we wait a lot. You ever do this? You go to a store, you say to the guy, gee, it's a nice day. Yeah, outside, I'm inside. <laughs> now what do you want? The Herald and the Scratch ticket. The Boston Herald. It takes you more than seven minutes to read the Boston Herald, you're mentally retarded. <laughs> and then the, the Scratch tickets. 
They came out with a ten dollar one this week. I swear to God, I'm the only one who goes to the grocery stores for groceries anymore. Everybody else, they're all in line in front of me. Let me have four lucky sevens, five lucky golds, fourteen lucky millions. What's the number? The number? What's the number? I swear you at your mother's funeral, someone come up to you. I am so sorry for your loss. You don't know what the number was, do you? <laughs> Then they ask the guy behind the counter, even if the guy's from India, he knows it. 323. <laughs> the one day I don't live a son of a bitch complain. <laughs> don't come on, I'm kicking the groin. Ah! <laughs> India. You know, India's got a nuclear bomb now. They don't have a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> I can't buy a ham sandwich. But we're good to go. We're good to go, everybody go with me. Hey, are those tall ships gone yet? <laughs> Anybody went, remember when the traffic around here wasn't horrible? Jesus, one thing after another. Tall ships and July 4th. Then they had the rally down there, Gore and Lieberman and Al Gore's up there, Lieberman, I want to talk about God. And then Tom and Eno get up. Hey, boy, I don't want to be able to punch you in the middle of the park. We'll be able to get a punch you in the middle of the park. We'll be able to get a punch you in the middle of the park. It's commercial. He says, I'm not a talker. Well, we got that part. <laughs> what a place. Bill Well, he was a Cambridge guy for a while, right? He had a great idea. Lifetime driver's licenses. Like the cops don't have enough to do. They pull you over when you're 80, you get the picture taken when you're 17. <laughs> you, know, you, know what, you know what I love? The big dig over budget. Oh, Jesus, what a shock! Massachusetts, Jesus. Everything's so intense here, everything. Everything's an issue. Everything's important. You gotta think about everything. Like last summer, there was a swan missing from the public gardens. Oh, Christ, I couldn't sleep for a week. I didn't know this. He was walking the streets by himself. He's out there homeless. He couldn't know what's in the term tight. I gotta let him go. Go ahead, bring me the serenity to accept the things that I can't. Where's the swan? Everyone knows where he was, right down in Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> then we had a moose up in Bright. People go to Maine for two months, they don't see a moose. You see on Palo Alto Avenue. We just see no move. You see that? A couple of winos sitting there. I'm trying to open our damn move. I know I've been drinking, but I know what a moose looks like. If you're running by, just like Paul Wingle, I gotta go to detox. I'm seeing stuff. Like that. Remember when he, we had the guy from Quebec hit the pole on Route 93? And the Herald says, Canadian blocks traffic on Route 93. Oh yeah, and it's usually so free flowing. <laughs> you can usually shoot right into the sea on Route 93. Goddamn Canucks ruining our view. Which we worked so hard to perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, what's another drunk driver? George Bush did it 24 years ago. <laughs> So they send their drunk driver down to us. We should send one of ours up there. You know, drag some guy out of a bar in South Boston. What are you, kidding me? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'll mow down everything I see. Give me some Heineken, some Nickelodeon, some Budweiser, some Smart Food. I got everybody. Me, Red, Murph, Obi, Dumpa, Stumpa, Stinka. Big head, no head, little head, one eye, no ass, big ass, Bobby. Sully, 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 Sully. <laughs>